propellant is one important element of the cartridge. Another is bullets, and we'll come on to those. The third is the cartridge case, the brass. I see, um, I see Norm is in the counterfeiting business. <laughs> this is where it all begins. Um, we start off with brass discs um, or tombak sheeting, and this hasn't changed for over 100 years. Same material, and we start off with a brass disc. And in this part of the factory, we produce a basic cup. How do you get from that to that? Basically, hit it with 30 ton hammer. Uh, if you hit it with a big enough force, everything complies. That's a very Swedish solution. Yeah, um, we've also got to heat it um, afterwards to get the metal to de-stress. But essentially, hit it in a big press. OK, this is just the start. Let's yes. go have a look at the rest of the factory. Right. It's essential that the brass is the right quality. So Siv here is working hard at something. What's she doing? She's checking the case head structure of the cases. What, She's... every cartridge that goes out of here? No, every batch. And throughout the production, samples are taken just to check quality control. The structure of the case and the hardness changes along its length. So you can't just check it in one point. You've got to check it all along its length. And that's part of the normal quality, is that it's consistent and we've got the hardness correct for what we believe is the optimum balance. So what does this mean to me, the shooter? It means that you know that this batch of normal cases is the same as the last batch that you used and will be the same as next year's batch. Is this why normal cases are so popular with reloaders? Yes, they're very, very <laughs> consistent. This poster shows how hard the various components have to be. From hard stuff to soft stuff, which is being mixed up in the next room. Ballistic gel is crucial for making sure the bullets are doing what they're supposed to. But more of that later. Norma doesn't always use the most modern technology, as this cartridge case testing machine shows. OK, this is our state-of-the-art 1914 equipment. Yeah, design then, a little bit updated with a modern feed and stuff, but it's still in use. Still works. This is First World War technology. Yes, and it does the job. We've got a few new machines well, that do exactly the same job, but it measures everything, it checks the dimensions, and any rejects come out, and you can see what the cause is, why it was rejected on the measurements, whether it was length or the no flash hole or whatever it was. So you've been doing this for a long time in normal. When did the factory start? 1902. And were you making ammunition for First World War? No, no. Um, it was always sporting ammunition and target. Um, we did produce some military and we, were, we developed the capacity in case. Sweden's been neutral in both wars. Um, so Norma, yeah, increased capacity in case, but never actually needed to. To ensure every bullet that leaves Sweden arrives with you in perfect condition, each case is meticulously checked and checked again. The next step in the bullet making process is in yet another part of the building, putting the primer or cap into the cartridge. Now the bullets, and at last we see all the components coming together. So this machine's going pretty fast, let's slow it down. This is the bit that keeps the bullet flying straight to the deer. This is the bit that breaks up inside the deer. This machine puts this bit inside this bit. And here's one I prepared earlier. There really is a rhythm to the manufacturing process here at Norma. As well as grease, Sawdust and, surprisingly, extra virgin olive oil keep things moving along smoothly. It's finally the moment when all those stages come together. Time to encase all the ingredients into that fresh little box of possibilities that could end up being some of the most incredible memories of your life. Some of the most beautiful brass in the world. Now it goes up this conveyor belt, along here, down into the tub, out onto the roundy, roundy thing, technical term, that one, where exactly the right amount of powder goes into each cartridge. Now, follow me, round here, quick, 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 quick. 
here are the 3006 runs with the ballistic tips. There you go, into that hole there, out here, up the conveyor belt along the top there, down where this nice lady is packing them into the brass cartridges. And then they come out here, they get packed with these black plastic things. Look, they break in two, very handy. They come over here, put into cardboard boxes, and they're ready for you, the shooter.